Zelda Skyward Sword Blind Playthrough Part 65, and this will be partially chest collecting, and that was, um, not what I had in mind. <laughs> and I had just got all my hearts again, so that was kind of counterproductive. Okay, let me adjust my microphone a little bit, and then let me actually jump off of the right place. Over here should be good. So, as I was saying before I fell off, I have no idea what I'm doing now. I will be going chest collecting, so if this does not interest you at all, do not watch this video, skip ahead to part 70. But, first thing will be probably the chest that I'm right on top of. That one right there, I hope I can actually land on it. You know, that's what I was afraid of with, yeah. That's what I was afraid of with that, is that I wouldn't be able to. But, as I have so kind of obviously remembered, is that maybe I can grapple onto it with my, uh, shot thing, my claw shot. But, maybe not. Maybe I can. Definitely not from here. Not, I'm gonna be a little bit lost as how to as to how to get that one. All right, definitely lost. Yep. Okay, let's just go for the other ones then. Oh wow! You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna turn that onto treasure just because I. Oh, it's not even unlocked! Wow! <laughs> okay, never mind. Goddess Cube. Well, that was a good waste of two minutes. Alright, let's go... Well, let's start over here. Wow, there's two there. Okay, let's start to my right. And I believe it is... That way, pretty much, yes. So as I said, this may be a long and boring video, but I thought it'd be better just to leave it in instead of uh, leave it out. But as I also said at the beginning, if this does bore you, just skip it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> and with that, I will stop telling you to skip it because uh, that bird will die if I say it one more time. Anyway, uh, let's see. How close am I? Wait, where is it then? It's like to the right of this one, okay. That is a very interesting island. So, this one right here. And here I actually can use my claw shots. <laughs> Potion medallion. Cool. Uh, where does that go? Oh. Oh, okay. If this is gonna end up being where I have to go back and forth and back and forth to bank this thing, maybe... Uh, not to bank it, but to store it, then... Oh, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that seems to be exactly what it's going to be. Well, this is going to take a while. Oh well. Might as well record it, because otherwise I am... not going to be doing much. 
But hopefully the other ones I can do. Eh, maybe three or four without having to go to my storage locker place or the chest or whatever the heck it is. I, I really don't know. I've only used it for like my iron shield and... Bird, if you're gonna keep running into me, you're just gonna have to fall into the clouds below. I'm sorry, but that's just what's gonna have to happen. And to remind anyone who may have forgotten, my goal is to find the three different pieces of the song of the Song of Time, or the Song of the Hero, Song of the Something. <laughs> Can't believe I already forgot that. And the first one I will be going to is the Water Dragon, because I know right where that one is, and, uh, hopefully that'll be a- that, hopefully that one will be able to give me a decent idea of what I'll have to do with the other dragons. I'm just hoping it's not gonna be, like, another big, long set of temples that I have to do for every single song. <coughs> okay, where's the storage lady? There you are. <laughs> Let's say true just because I can. I guess she does kind of get the likes for Link. Um, to keep the medallion or not to keep the medallion? I think I will. Although it only, it only helps with potions, and I have bottles filled with fairies, which I don't think count as potions, so it may be kind of counterproductive, but... You know what? Yeah, I definitely should put it back. Because <laughs> until a further time, I will be using the fairies. Just because they are... Kind of a, uh... Cheap... Lifesaver? I don't know. And that was probably another 30 seconds wasted, but oh well. And I should probably find those two people that follow that other guy around everywhere and see what they have to say about him staying down on the surface instead of wanting to come back up here. But anyway, to the chest directly in front of me. Okay, those are those weird things that are really, really good aim, strangely. No idea how they even got there in the first place, but okay. <laughs> Okay, is this the chest? Yes, it is. Maybe it is not. Yes, it is. I had no idea if that was a wall or one of these boing oing guys, but it's obviously boing oing. You know, I have all these items, but I just don't have, uh... Oh, come on. Oh, good. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to re-dive from the top there and try to do my best to make it onto that ledge, but luckily, Nintendo is apparently nicer than that. Come on. Anyway, I was saying I have all these items, and okay, really? Why are you telling me there's a chest here if I can't use it? What? You can't even say, like, there's a chest there, but I, you don't tell me I can use that one, so is there another one? 
Has to be another one. I will definitely keep with me. So that just seems useful. Okay, next heart. Uh, not heart, next chest. What am I doing? To my left. What the heck? I, my, my hands are like failing me today. <laughs> and one more time, right in front of me. Okay. And just to be sure, right is. Okay. I was making sure it wasn't that one. Because you never know. Oh my. Why can't chests open both ways? Oh, that's useful. Okay, and the next one is directly in front of me, at that pumpkin place uh, over there. You know what, I feel like taking out this octopus looking thing. Ow. Maybe not, uh, well now I definitely have to, haha. <laughs> Thank you for the five rupees, although a heart would have been a little bit more, uh, would have made things a little bit more even. And just to be sure, once again, yes, it is on here, but where? That is the question. Up on top there, okay. Oh no! Gah! I know, I see the chest, you stupid thing. Oh, try it again, I guess. I am really, really bad at controlling Link while he's falling. <laughs> As you may or may not be able to tell. But it looks like I didn't even need to land perfectly on this. Although for some reason that reminded me of playing the Fliff game or the Life of Fun. Holy crap, that's a lot of rupees. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to buy much with them, but it is still a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's the next one? Way up there, wow. But that Fliff game or... <laughs> As everyone else calls it, fly for fun. That was addicting. <laughs> I mean, it was repetitive, it was terrible, it was boring, but it was addicting. It's fun flying a broomstick everywhere. Back when the only thing I ever played were MMOs. And that was only because MMOs were the only games that didn't last. Uh, a couple of hours, and what I mean, like, they lasted forever, and by forever, I mean literally forever, they never ended. Because nothing is worse than paying $60 for a game and beating it five hours later. <coughs> Call of Duty. <coughs> oh, 
But then again, MMOs also take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of your time. <laughs> so they all have their downsides, I guess. But really, RPGs are probably the best games that you could play. Yeah. Okay, there is another chest somewhere. Where? Oh, I see where it is. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I saw those vines before I took off, I just wondered if uh, I actually needed to use them. Um. Okay, why... Didn't you call your bird? Seems as if I have. Uh, seems like I can't get, do anything from that point. Man, I'm fumbling all over my words today. Wow, you fly a lot faster than I remember you flying. Ah, okay. You know, it's one thing to leap up and to the side, but leaping down like that would be pretty scary. <laughs> I mean, all of it would be scary, but leaping down especially. Okay, what is in here? A treasure medal. That'll be useful if I ever need to... If I ever feel like going treasure hunting. But that one I will probably store away, and let's see where the next chest is. Uh, two islands, or technically three islands in front of me, so... Wow, you stupid bird flyer, go away. I have a fancier bird than you do, get over it and just leave me alone. Okay, good. Finally, the first chest that I see is the chest I'm supposed to get. <laughs> wow. Oh, not as good as the other one, but still, every little bit helps. Way better than a red rupee, though. Okay, then two of them in front of me again. Except that giant windmill one. How the... how the... oh, okay. I was gonna ask how I didn't hit the side of the thing there, but my bird did, so... That answered my question. Okay, um, right in front of me. <coughs> now, for some reason, this island reminds me of Dragon Roost Island in Wind Waker. I really need to stop comparing this game to Wind Waker. And then <laughs> someone asked, why do you always compare this to Wind Waker? Is that like the only Zelda game you've ever played? No, I've played many, many Zelda games, but Wind Waker, for some reason, was just the one that seems to stick in my memory the most. I'm guessing probably because I grew up on the GameCube. Yay, another gold rupee. I grew up on the GameCube, which meant Melee, Mario Kart Double Dash, and by Melee I mean Super Smash Bros. Melee, and of course Wind Waker. Although I never really beat Wind Waker until I was a lot, well not a lot older, but I didn't really try to play it seriously as I did in a lot of other places. Okay, I'm trying, uh, I mean, as I did with other games like Mario. Anyway, 
trying to remember is the... No, not the desert. That's the sand castle. So far on woods must be where the water dragon is. So I'm just going to head on over there because I found every chest that I can. And then I will end the video. But anyway, what I was saying was that I didn't really play Zelda games all that seriously back then. And I never really got past the first dungeon or two. <laughs> just because at the time it was... Too much trouble, uh, to me it seemed like more trouble than it was worth, and I just had a lot of fun playing around in the first areas. Especially in Ocarina, I would just sit around in Kokiri Forest and try to figure out where the Skull Kid was and try to memorize that forest that was up there. Whatever it was called, the Lost Woods, that was it. Then I'd get lost and then I'd get annoyed. Reset the game and never play for like a week and then, or not play for like a week and then come back. <laughs> anyway. If you actually did watch this video, which I completely forgot to send some stuff to my storage, but that's fine. I don't think I need to right now. Uh... Great, well I'm going to save this part for the next video because I should probably explain what happened for those of you who skipped this video. Anyway, if you did actually watch this video, I kind of have to thank you for it. <laughs>